Gone but forever remembered, Cynthia Weil. Melody Weaver and Maestro of Song, at 82, took her final bow. In the hallowed halls of rhythm and rhyme. Her name etched in gold, her legacy, divine. Oh, they know our songs, whispers the wind. The words of Linda Moran, Songwriters Hall of Fame kin. In an era scarce of female pen wielders. Cynthia was the lighthouse, the pathfinder, the guide to the fielders. Credit was scant, financial gain more so. Yet she painted a path with her lyrical Van Gogh. A conservative Jewish family cradled her birth. An actress, singer, and dancer of unquestionable worth. But the songbird within her yearned for the sky. And under Frank Lesser's wing, she began to fly. A moment in time, a memory etched clear. Writing with Teddy Rondazzo, when Barry Mann did appear. With the beat of the drum and the strum of the guitar. They forged a musical alliance, reaching near and far. A song for the crystals, a tone set just right. Uptown, downtown, illuminating social plight. Like a powerful prelude to Springsteen's anthem of the USA. They penned a tune, ironic lyrics held at bay. A seat saved in the back of the bus. In the land where the golden rule was a fuss. Too hot to handle, controversial in its might. The song found a home with Jay and the Americans, in a patriotic light. Despite the song's triumph, Cynthia and Barry held a frown. Their original message, under jingoist tones, drowned. A new chapter emerged, a novelist she became. I'm glad I did, a mystery, adding to her fame. Fast forward to 2004, the curtain rose again. They wrote that, a jukebox musical, echoing their refrain. So here's to Cynthia, a toast to her life. Filled with music, mystery, and a little bit of strife. So subscribe, dear viewers, for tales more like these. Unfolding in rhythm, carried on a gentle breeze.